So inspired by our last meeting yesterday, which was really, really amazing and blowing my full mind away and helping me so much and, and bhajan and meditation. I choose the two verses from Prema Bhakti Chandrika today, which are also very much the essence of the Manjari Bhav Seva and also of their feelings and also and how they are. How are they, the Manjaris? What are their feelings? What are their services? What is our goal? What is our revet, you know? Our main mood, how to serve Srimati Radhika, in which feelings, in which circumstances, and with what feelings of the heart that Gurudev is giving to us. And that is in this Prema Bhakti Chandrika by the mercy of Thakur Mahashai, very nicely uh, uh, described in the verse 51 and 52, of which we were just singing the lines. Sama sneha visam sneha na koriyo dui leha kohi matra adik sneha gan nirantara takke sange krishna katalila range narma sake e savajan so here Thakur Mahashai, Narottam Das Thakur, he is telling equal affection for Radha and Krishna or more affection for Krishna than for Sri Radha. Do not become attached to that. I will just speak about preference for Sri Radha. So here we can hear that Narottam Dastako, who has the service to explain Raga Mark, that is his service for Chaitanya for Mahaprabhu, for his Guru. He is now giving clear cut his feelings. For the uh, you know main part of the book, he is glorifying God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, and he is giving. Uh, the way how to get prema very easily. And now he says how to engage into Prem Seva to Srimati Radhika and her Mohan, in which mood and with what kind of attitude. So he says that there are different kinds of Sakis, there are different kinds of Gopis who are serving Radha Mohan in their in their divine pastimes. The ones are the ones that like Krishna more. They are very much in love with Krishna. And the ones that are equally in love with Radha and Krishna and the ones who are more in love with Srimati Radhika. That is a very uh, deep subject and because we have only one hour, I just want to go shortly because I don't want to go only into the explanations but mainly into the feelings of the third group of gopis, which are the Narma Sakis or as we call them, the Manjaris, the Kinkaris, the Radha, Dasis, which are the smallest of all the groups of the gopis. And here Naratam Dastaku says, if you want to be in that service, if you want to be in the following, in the Anugatya of them, don't think about equal affection of Radha and Krishna. Don't think about lo just loving Krishna. No, it is the Adik Sneha Gan that we belong to. We who are aspiring for Manjari Bhav Seva for Bhava Ula Sarati. These are the Sanskrit words that describe the whole subject, but we want to go into the feelings today. So, in this verses, by the way, he is establishing the, the service or the 
the goal of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, and that is also very interesting. It is actually the goal of all Gaudiya Vaishnavas. But let's say some of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas have not maybe heard about that so much. And because they have not heard about it from their Guru Devs or in their Guru Vaga, they are just into the development of that. And maybe they even have more affection to Krishna and they don't know it even. But it is the goal of all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. The Mandri Bhav or Bhava Ulasa. And now he is establishing it. He is making the point how it is and why it is. And yesterday we had this wonderful discussion about how Shrimati Radhika is is taking the services of the mandaris, which is the secret uh, meditation also in our Kama Gayatri mantras. And that is because the mandari is continuously staying with Radha and Krishna during their pastimes. They are always together with them. Whereas the elder gopis, the sakis, uh, like Lalita Vishaka, they are sometimes together with them, but not as much as the mantras and not in the same intensity when it comes to their divine confidential pastimes. And ba uh, Baba says, the mantras are endowed with Baba Ulasa. They are especially absorbed in different services of the divine pair and due to their oneness and feelings with her, Shri Radhika, Shri Radha Rani considers them non-different from her own body. So here we, we have that speciality of the service and the feelings of the Manjaris. They are so close with Shrimati Radhika and they have Shrimati Radhika as their main object of love and affection and service, not Krishna. They are completely one-pointed in the service to Shrimati Radhika. So much so that they don't even think about being together with Krishna. They only want to be together with their Swamini. And because of that, Shrimati Radhika has 108% confidence in them. There is nothing that she hides in front of her Manjaris in front of her kinkaris, in front of Tulsi Manjari, in front of Rupa Manjari, in front of Ananga Manjari, Kasturi Manjari, and in the further texts there will be descriptions of all the beautiful personalities. Because when Radha and Mohan are together, it is a special, special atmosphere of so much love and affection and so much intimacy and oneness that at that moment it is the service, you know, that service that is required is very, very subtle and very intense. It is in a service that cannot have any self-interest. And that's, you know, something that we learn from our Guru Manjari, from our Gurudev, how to serve without self-interest. How to be in the flow of Seva Ras, it is called. It's the taste for the service and not the taste for enjoying what Radharani or Krishna enjoy when they are together, although it happens naturally because they are one that this also is experienced by the Manjaris. But they have no interest in enjoying that. They are just serving it. So at that time, when Radha and Mohan are together and they are served by the Mandaris, they consider them the Avesha Murtis, the embodiments of their ecstatic absorption in their Rasika uh, pastimes. And thus, there is no reason for them to feel embarrassed or feel shy. And only these Mandaris are constantly in the company of the divine pair. Again, Baba makes the point. They are constantly in the association of them. And that constantly 
that exclusively and that eagerly service, you know, the rendering service constantly, exclusively and eagerly to Shimati Radhika, it gives them a chance to be together with Radha and Mohan where no one else can be there. And it's so so special, Gurudev, when they when they are saying Avesha Murtis. Avesh means absorption, right? It is that uh, deep oneness. Oh, he's on the phone, Gurudev is on the phone. Sorry, Gurudev. So that Avesh means completely focused. Man, sometimes we hear the words Svarupa Avesh. Now we are we are in the feelings and in the identity of ourself as a Manjari, a Dasi, a small Kinkari. And they and when Radha and Mohan are together, Gurdiv, I feel it like this. I don't know, maybe you can please enlighten us on this. When they are together and then the Manjaris are coming, that Radha and Mohan they see them non different from themselves. Is that the meaning of Avesha Murti Gurdi? We cannot hear your voice. Yes. There are Radhika's Radhika's Shadowna. Yeah, the shadow never leaves leaves the form, good, right? Arjuna <laughs> never leaves. If Arjuna leaves, then shadow is no meaning. Right? Equally, our shadow can be to us. Yes. Yeah. Shadow cannot uh, live without original. Wow. That's why also Radha Mohan, they don't feel there's nobody else there because they are together with their ones, you know, the ones, Shrimati Radhika ones. They are same at the same time. And at the same time, they are separate and they're doing services that are important. Mohan also knows that it, Radhika cannot be her shadow. Shadow will come and Manjali will be there. And shadow knows that I cannot be my ultimate. Then my shadow is no meaning. If I leave the origin, Gurudev, I'm not a shadow. <laughs> shadow can never leave the origin. They are like glued together. They they don't exist without each other. Oh, please, Radha Charan. What? About shadow? Of course, shadow could not exist without origin. Oh, sorry, your voice is very uh, unclear. I understand. Um, now you're good. I, it's only uh, how to analogy. In in, in with me and what. Shadow never been without original, but it's not telling uh, about how to say how Manjari is so bright, so sweet, and each Manjari is a uh, personification of some qualities, Shimati Radhika's quality. But it is mean what they are not separated for Manjari is so much important. They won't be with Shimati Radhika always. For them, for them, it's they life. They won't be with Shmata Radhika. Oh, sweet. Thank you. 
Yes, and now it is explained or described by Shila Prabodhananda Saraswati part in his Vrindavan Mahimamrita about the sweet mood of the Manjaris and how they are always present. Since they will die if they are separated from the lotus feet of their Ishvari, Sri Radharani, the Manjaris stay with her lotus feet day and night. What more can I say? When Srimati enjoys with her lover in the fine cottage, she will take the manjari with her onto the bed and sometimes even covers her with the sheets. The manjari does not desire anything but the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet in all the three phases of time, in past, present or future, and is always immersed in a boundless ocean of ecstatic love for Radha. Even in dreams, she does not know anything else but the lotus feet of Radha. She is beautified by waves of the billowing or overclashing ocean of Prem for Sri Radha. She has an adolescent female form that astonishes even the great gods and the entire universe. And she wears big goosebumps due to relishing rasa on her body at every moment. So this is also interesting. These goosebumps are a side effect of service to Sri Radha. But she doesn't do the service to get the goosebumps. It's just like a side effect. Because we can imagine when we hear about all the divine qualities of Srimati Radhika, which are already, you know, making Krishna crazy. Then how will the Manjaris feel who are the closest to her all the time? And because they are so exclusively in love with Sri Radha, there is not a trace of any self-interest. And because of that, they are highly qualified for any service that no one else can do like them. And that Srimati Radhika will not ask from anyone else. She is beautified by waves of the overclashing or billowing ocean of Prem for Sri Radha. She has an adolescent female form that astonishes even the great gods in the entire universe. And she wears big goosebumps due to relishing rasa on her body at every moment.
So Srimati Radhika is the container, the essence of rasa. And the mandaris, because they are her shadow, mean they are so sweet and so close and so connected. The goosebumps of their services are their natural skin. Radha's maidservants captivate everyone by the endless luster and beauty of the every limb. And they always anxiously wander around here and there in Radha's service. We know that Shimati Radhika's eyes are chanchal. She's always searching for Mohan, for her beloved, everywhere. So we can also understand that the Madhuris, they have also these chanchal eyes and this nature to always feel what my Swamini wants me to do right now, which service is important right now. And they have a shining body, like in different colors they appear. And that shining is also a quality of their sevaras. It is the, the love of Srimati Radhika that is coming from their pores and from their heart. Like from Srimati Radhika's heart and pores and eyes, it is all pure love for Mohan. But the mandaris, all mandaris, bodies and limbs and eyes, they are made of pure Radha Bhav. Their love for their Ishwari Shimati Radhika. So they are very, very beautiful. Most beautiful. In this way, the Kinkaris are always with Radha Mohan, enjoying their services when they meet. And in times of separation, they relieve Virahini Radha from the pangs of separation by Krishna Katta Lila Range. Enjoying discussing topics of Krishna. So because they are so close to Srimati Radhika, they are also very close to Krishna. They know everything about him and what Swamini loves so much about him. They are taking all the lilas into their hearts and when the proper moments come, when Srimati Radhika is in the separation feelings, the mandri will will paint all the canvas, you know, of their heart into Srimati Radhika's heart. And that is explained now, how they do this service in the time of separation. separation. With Krishna Katta Lila Range. The whole varieties of different, different topics about Krishna and when they were together and how much Krishna loves Srimati Radhika. And actually, the whole Radha Sudanidi and Vilapa Kusmanjali also is filled with this service because, in especially Vilapa Kusmanjali, Tulsi Manjari is giving these services to Swamini. And that's why it is so important for us to go deep, deep, deep into all the, the services that are described in Vilapa Kusmanjali. And like this, you know what will happen also? our separation from Swamini will be cooled off. If we feel anything for Swamini, Vilap Kushmanjali is making it condensed. So we are learning the feelings from a mandri, by a mandri, under the guidance of our Gurude, who is also mandri, and they are teaching us in different, different steps how to develop the feelings by listening and by 
imagining and living in these feelings and living in the mantra, the Maha Mantra, but also if we have, as we have heard yesterday, for us, especially Kama Gayatri Mantra. And when the mandaris view the pastimes of the divine pair, they keep these intimate pastimes marked on the canvases of their hearts with the pencil of Prem. Isn't that a very beautiful picture? Those of you who have been painting or drawing, that is the canvas. And then the pencil or the brush is Prem. And the hearts of the mantras and their feelings and the lilas that they have seen, they are drawing with the pencils of their love for Swamini on their hearts. So they have a big collection, you know, of beautiful, most exquisite paintings in their consciousness. <laughs> they have a gallery, a big gallery of Premaras. So that they can describe these blissful ta pastimes again to Shrimati at the time of separation. In this way, they give shape to playful Shyam in front of Swamini. They give shape. So not only they are drawing and they are explaining and speaking, they give shape by their love for Swamini, at any time they can manifest Shyam through their words, through their descriptions, through their touch. All services that they do, they are doing to give pleasure to Swamini. So who gives the most pleasure to Swamini? That is Krishna, that is Mohan, that is Shyam. So, because of their one-pointed, exclusive, eager and foolish or rendered services to the divine couple, they can give shape to Mohan, to Swamini, when she is in separation. That's unbelievable service. Also, for this prasanga, or a conversational form of devotional service, the mandaris always stay with Srimati Radhika. They give shape by their words, prasanga seva. They are telling and they are joking and they are sometimes only saying one word or so. And Shimati will receive the whole Leela from them. And that's why she always needs them. They are her support in the times of separation when she loses herself also. Also when she sometimes loses herself. When she loses consciousness or she loses feeling of time, place and circumstances. They are there to give her everything she needs and to support her, to protect her and to nourish her also with the feelings that she needs in that moment that are required for the next meeting or, or you know, supporting in times of separation. And although they are always engaged in acts of services, they are still known as Narmasakis, intimate joking girlfriends. So here we have another example how they give service, by joking. Because joking, everyone loves it so much. 
If it's a tasty joke. If it makes happy. Or if it gives a little bit of something to Krishna. When he, sometimes they say it like, Oh, what can cow herders like you do in the guise of the uh, game of dice? You just can go back to your cows and say, hey, hey, and take your stick. But here in this game of dice or in this chess game, some intelligence is needed. So they give also like, you know, sometimes a little bit naughty jokes to Krishna when Swamini gives them the hints. And therefore, all the... The mantras, they are very, very connected, so much connected that in every moment they, they feel Swamini and what is her desire. Tasty jokes to Krishna. That joke, these jokes, they give a taste. The Hasya Ras, it's called, that humorous taste of laughing and joking and preparing also, making eager. Giving all the feelings that increase, increase, increase and multiply the desire of the divine couple. And in first regard, Srimati Radhika. But since Radha and Mohan are also always connected and never separated, so we can understand that this is also the highest service for Mohan, for Krishna. And therefore, he also desired so much to, to give the service to Swamini and to also become expert in that, in the Manjari Bhav Seva. And that's why he came as Goranga, to, to experience it, and to not only himself, because Ga in Gora it is, you know, Govinda and Radha together, so they are very compassionate. They, they share it. Srimati Radhika wants to share it with the whole world. And that's why we are so lucky that we have come in contact with the, this wonderful compassion of Srimati Radhika in the form of Gora, as Gora, as Chaitanya. They extend tasty jokes to Sri Krishna, to Sri Radharani, and again to the pair Divine pair both. So we hear there are three different kinds of jokes. Sometimes to Krishna, sometimes to Srimati Radhika, and sometimes together. So we understand from listening this, this expertise, how to serve in the different circumstances, in the different moments. It is very much uh, detailed. It's very, uh, there are different nuances. Like when you are painting, no? you need this color, then a little bit of this color. If you want to make a shadow, you have to work with the, you know, white and gray and black. It's a, it's an art of mixing. So now the Naratam Nastako is giving the different names of the mandras also. Isn't that amazing? That's why, Gurudev, you love this so much, the Spartana. There's everything inside, all the details, all the, all the, the crest jewels of Mandri Bhav Seva. And, uh, when we are reading and hearing this and we go with it during the day, our whole being will be nourished by that feeling and by that eagerness to also pray to Gurudev and Srimati Radhika and all the Vaishnavas that we also may one day have more feelings for this. And when we, when the feelings grow, then understanding will come. Because understanding comes from inside, not from outside. Shri Rupa Manjari, Shri Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Manjulali Manjari, Shirasa Manjari, Kasturika. And others are blissfully rendering loving devotional service with each other.
the other day I meet one devotee and I was a little bit heavy on that devotee because that devotee never comes, never, never, never. And I miss him so much. We do many beautiful things. We do kirtans. We are eating prasad together. We have this um, seva together. The uh, our prem prasad seva. And he said to me, "You know, Suniti, I'm a yogi." I said, "Acha, you're a yogi. You want to be born in the Himalayas in your next life." <laughs> And then he said to me, yeah, you are such a shiny personality because you have a Leo in your first house. I said, Are Baba, I'm not my horoscope and you are not your horoscope. Yeah, that is my material nature. Yes, of course, we all have it. But inside, we are, you know, our Gurudev has given us this jewel. We want to be Dasis. And why do I say this? Because here they are doing loving devotional service with each other. They are not just by themselves all the time. Actually, they are never by themselves. They are always together. And to be together, we need to develop this oneness, that loving, you know, feeling for each other and with each other. And then it will be very, very tasty and more tasty for Swamini. Blissfully rendering loving devotional service with each other. Nitya Siddha Mandraris. That is also a very interesting subject. In this part, the blessed author mentions the names of the chief Narma Sakis or Nitya Siddha Rag Atmika Mandraris, those who are eternally perfected. Nitya means eternal, and Siddha is the perfection. And Rag Admika are the ones who are already in the spiritual world, in the family of Raga. Or the Atma is already, you know, from beginning and time unlimited, they are in that position. Not like us. We are now here in this material world. We are doing a little side journey. <laughs> who knows how long. But we try to follow those Nitya Siddha, Rag Admika, Manjaris. First of all, it is said, Shri Rupa Manjari Sara. Here the word Sara is accepted to mean chief. Of all the Manjaris, Shri Rupa Manjari is the greatest and the chief. She is the boss of the small Manjari. In following her and under her control, all the Manjaris perform and accomplish their services to Sri Radha Mohan. Now comes the connection to the Gora Leela. Just as Sriman Mahaprabhu would not listen to anyone's poetry before having it examined by Sripad Swarup Damoda, the great knower of Ras. Because if it contained Rasa Bas incompatible flavors or controversial theories, the Lord would suffer intolerably. Similarly, in Braj, the new Mandris attain the ability or the qualification to engage in the Rasika service of Sri Radha Mohan when they passed Sri Rupa Manjari's examination. Otherwise, it is not possible for anyone to attain the Yugala Seva. So there is a Procedure, like when we go to school, we are preparing to be an apprentice. First, we are the students of our teacher, of our parents, of our teachers in different, different levels of schools. And then we go into apprenticeship. Once we have learned the ABCs up to, to the, you know, Y and Zs, 
then there will be apprenticeship. That means we have learned some theory. Now let's do some practical job. Let's say I'm a doctor. I want to be a doctor. So what happens next? I am going into apprenticeship to someone who is already a doctor and practicing with the patients. So in the same way, all the mandaris, they are learning from other mandaris, like we are learning now from our Guru Mandari. And at one time, there will be a test, there will be an examination in the school or in the apprenticeship, they have tests like in the books, but I feel the tests in our, you know, learning Mandari Bhav, Seva, attitude and feelings, the test is in life itself. Shimati Radharani, Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Guru Devi, all the Vaishnavas, they are always testing us. Uh, the Rupa Manjari and Ananga Manjari also, they give tests and that these tests are the situations in my life. How do I react when somebody is pinching my ego? How do I behave when the body gets, you know, out of use, out of order? Where is my focus? Can I still focus on my goal, on my divine goal. That's how I feel. It's not a test of uh, a written paper, of learning Sanskrit or knowing verses. It's a test in behavior, in humility, in uh, feelings and stai bhav. The fixed emotion of a dasi and feeling in that emotion, all, you know, life circumstances and behaving towards all my family and my brothers and sisters and all the people that I meet always try to be in that fixed emotion and not go back or down into the ego, into different, different levels of the gunas. That is the examination. That's how I feel at least. Maybe somebody else would help me with that. What they feel is the examination. So, just my small feeling. I'm not qualified, but uh, some come to my heart, my eyes here. Yes, please, Kashori. Yeah. Actually, so exam is not only for checking. We can learn from a result of exam. Sometimes we can pass exam. Sometimes we can fail exam. But from this fail, so-called mistakes, is also mercy, I feel. Because always Google say, we are always a student. Like this. If yes. unfortunate come, like unfavorable situation come, it's also mercy to become strong. For example, Manjari is trying to follow our Shirimati Radhika, Swami. And sometimes, they fell down on the muddy road, but uh, still they are trying to run it. Like this, Manjari need strong desire and strong mind. Just one point. Like this, before I feel like uh, exam is fear, but actually what I feel, I try to see is, Exam is also real mercy to grown up for our Swami to save a nicely for make them making them happy. This is my small sharing. Gerard. Thank you, so nice. Yes, we don't need to be afraid. 
Or you can also, in the difficult situation, try to be strong and feel that it makes me stronger. Although, from my experience at that moment, it feels not like that. <laughs> But in the after view, when we have overcome the examination, then we know, oh my God, it, it was, in the end, it was all good. It, it made me grow, make me come out of my ego, and it made me humble. It was necessary. And now Sneaky Bibi said, we need each other. Manjari's need each other. Similar situation we, exp uh, we experience in our mandir also. For example, like, uh, I have a relationship with Gopinata by uh, Shridara by uh, Rasalira also, Shampuri also, Gopika also. And Rada give us some surprise situation, so-called difficulty. At that time, we are like uh, fighting also, try to solve also. And this difficulty makes us closeness. And this uh, experience makes us more deep connections. It takes time, but uh, this is uh, our treasure, this relationship, do together, conquer this difficulty. Then our Swamini trust us more because we conquer this trouble together. This is uh, also beauty of oneness. This is what I feel. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's so true. I feel the same. It's not negative if we have some problems and we have to somehow get out of it or overcome or get a positive result. That makes us close. It's like a family. So much fighting between the brothers and sisters, but in the end, it makes us very close. <laughs> So now, Shilatako Mahashai, Naratom Nastako describes his own Mandri Swarup. When he first attains the good fortune of Yugala Seva, he will collect all the necessary paraphernalia for the Yugala Seva on Sri Rupa Manjari's order and remains standing behind her. I will shyly stand behind Sri Rupa as Radha and Krishna look at me again. Smile and then ask Rupa with the kind hearts. Oh Rupa, where did you get this new maidservant? Hearing their inquiry, Sri Rupa Mandari tells them, Manjulala, Manjulali Manjari, the spiritual name of Srila Lokanath Swami, who is the guru of Naratam, has given me this maidservant to bring her before you. Knowing her to be very humble, I kept her to serve you. And while she told them this personally, she will engage Naratam in their service. So here we have a very sweet story of introduction. The apprenticeship is, is uh, successful. <laughs> we know that when we have done the apprenticeship, then we can also do the jobs of the bigger ones. So here, Naratam Dastako is there in his spiritual body with Rupa Manjari and tells Radha and Mohan that Manjula Mani Manjari has given this maidservant to her to bring her and knowing her to be very humble I kept her to serve you. Hear the words Namra Chitta the humble attitude indicates Srila Thakur Mahashai's qualification for Yugala Seva in Mandrari Svaru and is also clear from this 
that she has passed Sri Rupa Manjari's examination. So this humble attitude, that is um, the key, the Trinadapi bhav. And that is not that we are not doing anything. It's, it's what we are doing, we are doing in a very loving and sweet, kind and uh, submissive feeling. And that's something that needs to be learned. And therefore, sometimes we get the Danda mercy. <laughs> you know, the Danda mercy, you have heard about that. The Danda is the stick, right? Sometimes we get the stick. And the stick is also mercy. Because if the disciple will not listen, then Gurudev has to be a little bit more strong. When the children are trying to catch the fire all the time, the parents have to give them little claps on their little fingers so they don't burn themselves all the time. So, again from these words, it is also clearly understood that Sri Rupa Manjari is in charge of bestowing Yugala Seva. Therefore, following the words of the upcoming verse, it is understood that during the time of sadhana, the sadhaka must mainly follow Sri Rupa Manjari in rendering service in their mentally conceived spiritual body. And if I don't have it yet, I meditate how I desire to come closer to that revelation by Gurdiv and chant my mantra, chant my my beautiful Diksha mantras and remember them during the day and live in the mantra. Like Gurdiv, you always say, this has inspired me so much in my life because I cannot always jump around with a mala in my hand and do my daily, you know, housewife duties. But my mind, my mind is the, you know, container of all the feelings. And by doing what am I do, I, I'm doing during the day and all my duties, I can always relish in my mind what I have heard and uh, repeat the mantras and try to beg for mercy to live in these feelings so that my spiritual um, existence becomes more prominent than my material identification. In this couplet, the name of six mandaris are mentioned and with the wor word Adi beginning with after Kasturi Manjari. This Adi indicates that Guna Manjari and Vilasa Manjari are also meant to be mentioned here. And to facilitate the remembrance of the Adika Sneha Manjaris, we are mentioning the acquaintances to the eight Manjaris complexion, dresses and so on, which has been given by Srila Gopal Guru Goswami and Srila Dhyana Chandra Goswami in the Shishi Gora Govindachana Smarana Padatis. So that means that uh, Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is now uh, giving the different different uh, dress colors and and um, characteristics of the mantra mandras, and that is very helpful for our meditation. Of course, I have to uh, meditate on my own dress, on my own color, on my own uh, characteristics and services. But for example, if I don't have them yet, it is very helpful to meditate on the dress of Rupa Manjari, Prati Manjari, how they are behaving, what are their services, by con connecting to these, you know, eternally perfected and 
you know, who have come down just recently, 600 years ago, is nothing. They come down to, to help us to overcome also our material consciousness and they have given us entrance through the mercy of Goranga, which is coming through the mercy of our poor Parampara, of our Guru Parampara and our Param Guru Dev and our Guru Dev and the mercy of all the Vaishnavas who are more advanced than myself, who are inspiring me, who are reminding me and helping me on the way to that. Oh my God.